hello guys welcome to this series of Java basic to advanced um, I'm trying to come up with some simple programs and they may not make sense at this moment but the more you learn the more you you practice the more you master the, the process so I'm going to be teaching you or showing you or practicing how to write Java uh, the only one trick if you want to be the best at writing programs you have to practice so this is more like to motivate you so that you you um, you get the momentum of writing programs I know a lot of guys out there they get this problem whereby they don't have the motivation or they don't know what to write so for me I'm going to be just writing because when I was learning Java it was really really hard for me but I use this method of practicing practice all the time so um, right on top of, on top of my head I have nothing like prepared for you guys but I'll be just thinking of anything randomly and just write down so um, another thing about Java you have to be really more as a critical thinker you have to be thinking how to analyze information and how to to put anything into programming so this is going to help you a lot so um, today I don't know but I was just thinking maybe we should uh, maybe finding the area of cycle and you know as the formula of finding the area of cycle is is equal to pi times uh, r square which is radius times radius right so how can we do that in Java how can we uh, translate that to Java so that um, if we ask the user it should enter the radius and when it enters radius then we check the radius if the radius is is more than zero then we or is greater than zero or equal to zero then we can do calculations and if it's not if it's minus then we we should let the user that that it's in correct unit or in correct input right so right here I'm going to um, I have created this basic to advance project which is simple you just write from here new to a Java project and you get this you can put anything you like you can put any any name you can give it a name you like so for me I just put basic to advance because that's where I'm going to start from basic to advance so right here you have this source folder and this source folder we can just create packages right and for now um, I'm going to call like chapter one right and normally you have to start with or begin with uh, uh, small letters so it's chapter one so we begin with chapter one and here on chapter one I need to create a class and this class I really don't know what I'm going to give the, my classes let's say very, very simple let's start with uh, exercise one right and here and normally if I were just writing a program then I would just use this template to fill up for example the um, to get this uh, public static void main which we need in, in any Java program you need a main uh, class or a main method to to run your pro program so uh, you can either tick this public static void main string or you can type it by yourself but be, as I said because we are practicing and we want to master the Java programming so I'm going to go in the way of writing everything so here you have to type public static void main string and these are arrays so you should uh, remember to put the, these brackets and it doesn't really matter whether you, they are here or they are here in if you have um, perhaps you have never learned uh, arrays so but arrays you can either put these brackets here or you can put them here and as we learn we are going to learn this y so so this is the main method so in every every java class you need a main method and this is the name of our class and this public means it's a public for any other program can access this this uh, program and this is a package package means it's like a, we are packaging our programs in this chapter one right so 
the more you learn the more i write codes the more you master these things i'll be really trying to speak all the time and you can leave a comment or you can ask any anything that you are not aware of to clear or clear your mind just write a comment and anyone else can just answer or if i have time i can answer for you so here this is the main method right so uh, when we have a main method we we need we need yeah, normally you have also to write the the comment so i can just comment this main method this is very very important because if someone is reading your cards he should understand what you're doing right so and again i may not be writing um, I mean, my writing comments all the time because we, we need to save time because these are very small, pro, uh, small, smaller projects or small programs. So um, we will be writing comments sometime, and maybe sometime I'll be missing comments. So you should be aware of that. So another thing is that let's say I want to receive a data from the user or from the keyboard. What can I do? So I have to think. What should I do? So in Java you have to think all the time. So if you want to get the data from the keyboard, then first I need a comment, and we need a scanner, okay? A scanner class. So input from. Keyboard, right? So, how do you write scanner? Scanner is just a class. You can just Google it if you don't. And this is a variable is equal to new scanner and system dot in. All right. So this is a class inbuilt class on in Java. So the moment you see this. Uh, you need to um, double click on it and import the scanner okay you see this import if you want to use this scanner class you have to import if you need to use this class then you have to import it here so so um, yeah, later on we are going to learn how to use this how to write a class and stuff like that but for now you just have to know that this is the a scanner if you want to get the input from the keyboard okay and now we have to type uh, system dot out dot print line. So this is the way of asking the user. Like let's say, let's say if I want to ask the user, enter the enter the radius, maybe enter radius radius. So. So now we need to use the this variable here because you see it's my is complaining that because we, it's not used so so we have to use it under this so um, normally I can put my variables here the method maybe right, variables and variables are the uh, things that hold data so and uh, the more we learn this the more we go the more you'll be uh, uh, noticing or understanding this variable so now we need double because we need double is the way of accepting a number with point maybe 1.2 1.5 1.0 so we use double but if you want integer like it's uh, only one number then we use integer for now I need I need to use double so double radius Okay. Now here I can use this radius here. Radius. Radius. I can use the radius and is equal to I use this this variable here from the class this is a class variable. So this radius is going to hold this class which is input a dot next double because I'm picking double I'm receiving double from the keyboard so it have to be double so this is just an uh, 
an object of this we are using this object to call this method and this method is within this class so if you google this this scanner you read documentation you find this next double and you can read all about this this method okay and then uh, what next another thing is that I just want to check I want to make sure that the user what the user types in is correct okay we don't want to um, to receive data that doesn't really make sense we want to make sure that when uh, anyway you can just select uh, you can just choose wh whatever you like but for me I'm going to say to us to use my program is going to be like checking the number have to be zero or greater than zero so I'm going to use if statement if and again I'm trying to uh, put a lot of things here so that you you see you also get the broad understanding about how the how do you write Java and how to mix stuff and why do we need this this and that and stuff like that so so if radius if radius is greater or equal to zero you see it's just like it's a it's a language you know it's almost like the language we speak so it's greater than zero let's say because I'm using double dot zero and then you put D D here then what do you want to do see if radius is greater or equal to zero what do you want to do maybe I don't know what you want to do but for me I want to calculate if it's it's greater than that so I'll use I put another variable here maybe double area right and then I use this area here I say area area is equal to and, and now this is the question everyone should understand if you don't know the formula of, of, of calculating the radius is not so important in programming but at least if you went to grade 7 or you have been to school then you should know the the formula of if you don't know just google it because it's easy nowadays so you don't even have to cram it just google it so it's radius times or you can either it might be pi times radius square right but for me I would just type radius times radius times pi and the pi normally it's a constant so we put this 3.1 Five, uh, actually, for me, I will just use these two numbers because that's what I remember uh, well. So, so, and this should be D because we are dealing with double here. So, now you see this is the formula of, of calculating the radius. Okay, and now what do we want to do? We want to print, we we'll print out so system dot out dot print uh, this print line. There's a difference between print print and print line print line means it should print on the next line so so what do you want to print then this is the screen strings and you just say that the area is the area is uh, sorry let's give us concatenate the area is area right so we get the area is this area here and then uh, what if a user type something less than one so we should also tell the, the user else else system dot out dot print line and then we can just say in incorrect or invalid This should be a string, so incorrect input or value. Okay. So 
control shift format and then let's, let's try to run our program so you just uh, right click and then run as a java application and now we enter the radius let's say 2 so we see the area is this one so is this the area okay so if we put the invalid say if I put the invalid run again the program and let's put uh, minus one so you get incorrect input so this is what I mean you see so the best here I mean the what you have to learn from this is that uh, this is how we write the program so what the program is doing that's something else so but at least have to be correct at least what you do with the program which is the which is what we want of course we want the software to help us to solve our problems so if if our software doesn't do what we want then it's there's nothing there's it doesn't really make sense of even making that software in the first place so uh, but before you can become a good programmer you have to practice and this is why I created this this series for you to learn how to practice perhaps you already know these things but to be honest if you don't practice you may think you know but if you don't practice please you will never never become a good programmer so uh, thank you guys for listening and and I hope you'll be joining me again for the exercise too. Thank you and bye-bye.